This is Espresso on SABC3. Now, Christmas is over and all the presents have been opened, all the food has been eaten. If you live somewhere near the, the North Pole, you might see Santa Claus going home. <laughs> but anyway, so you're wondering what to do with all these things lying around your house. And luckily we have Nikki Seegers, editor of Live Eco, to give us some ideas on what to do with all these things lying around our house. Hi, Nikki, how are you? Hi, ah, good, thank you. So what do we do? I mean, first thing to start off with, wrapping paper. Nobody ever opens up, you know, a present like this. And now it's lying all over the place in shreds. What do you do with it? Well, you should try to get your kids, I know it's hard, but try to get them to open it carefully if you can. And then all you need to do is take that paper, put it somewhere safe, fold it, keep it flat, and you can reuse it next year. The inside of your wrapping paper, otherwise, alternatively, can be also used to make cards. So all you do is flatten it out, and it's yeah. not too stiff. It's quite actually nice paper. And you can get them to cut you up little cards. You can wow. reuse string from previous presents or anything you have lying around the house. Big ones, small ones, they can make your cards for the whole of next year. And, and they're very customizable. Yeah, yeah, and kids have fun. They can put glitter on and stick little pictures and it's unique and it's something special for you to give your friends and family. Now people normally cook big dinners, big, uh, you know, kind of meals to eat on the day, but then afterwards you never actually eat everything. Yeah. What do you do with that? I think if you've got quite a bit left over, try to package it up and give it to a good cause. So for instance, if there's a shelter or something like that, take it there rather than throwing it out. Otherwise, sometimes what we do is package it up and give it to the guys who are selling stuff on the side of the street rather than chucking everything away, which That's is such a waste. Yeah. Yeah. Bottles are a big thing. They Depending are. on what kind of things you like drinking, yeah, soft for, drinks and whatnot. Yeah. For instance, if you have a lot of wine bottles or glass bottles, glass is 100% recyclable. So take that to your nearest uh, recycling depot and recycle that. Uh -huh. Otherwise, if you've got plastic bottles, this is a Coke bottle. Woo! Yeah, so if there's something on the bottom, just take the plastic off. Yeah. And then all you need to do is, and this is awesome for kids as well during the holidays, to give them something to do. Wow. So you just cut the top off, and then if you want to, you can cut little slits like so. These are just slits in the thing. Yeah. And then you just fold it down, and it makes a cool little gift box. And kids can put glitter in, you know, water-based paint, something like that. Otherwise, you can get, that one's quite cute, it's got yeah. glitter on, and then that's just a reuse button, and it's a little gift box. It can make a very nice welcome back to school yeah. teacher. Any, exactly, anything like that. Otherwise, you can even, if you don't want to use it as a box, don't um, cut this part, just cut it all off, and you can use it as a candle holder as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you can put an apple inside, give it to a teacher. There you Hi, go. teacher, welcome there back you to school. Go. Okay. Cards are one of those things, I've got like thousands of them stacked up, and every year it's more and more and you know you kind of get sentimental with them you never want to no so what you can do is um, these are empty cards but what if someone has done you a nice little greeting just cut that part off and you just take the top part you can even stick it onto your reused <laughs> card <laughs> and you've got a whole set of new cards for next year just don't give it back to the person that Who gave, gave it to you, to you. <laughs> could be awkward so yeah, and this is an example of something like that which has actually been made. Man, so I see that. That is actually pretty really cool. cool. Look at that. So you've actually taken, wow, and you've taken a, an old card, yeah. like you said, cut and it up. Yeah, stuck it on. And uh, stuck it on there. That's actually pretty nice. It actually looks like it's original. All you need now is a barcode at the back and then you're like, hey. Well, you could tell them. Like, where'd you get that card? <laughs> Last season, yeah, very cool. But it's a nice thing for kids to do, especially during the holidays and it's the end of the holidays now and people, are, I'm sure, parents are tearing the hair out. Give your kids something to do. I'm thinking living green, live eco trees, Christmas trees. If you have reused a fake tree, then that's perfect. Then you just undress your tree and put it away for next year. Mm -hmm. If you followed our pre-Christmas tips and bought an indigenous potted tree, again, take all the de decorations off and plant it in your garden mm -hmm. and you've got a new tree for the new year. That would be the greenest thing to do. Very, very cool. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. So there are your ideas on what to do with all that stuff lying around your kitchen and your house like that. Now. I'll